Hello, and welcome to today's tips, tricks, and best practices for Microsoft Dynamics CRM users. Today's topic is how to create a team. Many of you may be asking, why would I ever need to create a team within CRM? Or you may be wondering, you can create teams within CRM? That's a great question and also a common misconception about being able to create teams within CRM. One main reason why you would want to create a team within CRM is the ease of sharing information. If you have a group of individuals, for instance, a sales team, in which you want to share records, views, charts, dashboards, information within CRM with those group of individuals, instead of having to share that information with each specific individual, put those individuals into a team, then you only have to share it once with the entire team then everybody has access to it. And more importantly, when you add a new member that's going to be part of the sales team within your company, so of sharing all the information you already shared with, shared with the sales team to this new individual, just add the individual to the sales team. Now they have access to everything. Saves your administrator a ton of time. And keep in mind, only administrators can create teams. So if after hearing this, tips and tricks video, you're interested in creating a sales, a sales team or any other type of team, talk to your system administrator and they'd be happy to set you up. Another reason why you might want to create a team is if you have a project in which you need a group of individuals to have ownership access of different records within CRM. Normally there's only one owner that can be assigned to a record. Well, if multiple users are on a team, you can assign ownership rights to that team. Now, all members of that team have ownership rights. And each team with, as an owner type team will have a security role. As long as the record that they own is in the same business unit as the team, you can assume that all the individuals under that team will have the same security access that you grant into the overall team. Another reason you might want to create a team is for an access team type, where instead of giving them ownership and security role, you're just sharing access of the record with a group of individuals. So you're sharing it with a team. So it's an, those are known as an access team. So instead of owning the record, you're just giving them access to it. Now let's jump into CRM and I'll show you exactly how to create a team. So within our settings section within CRM, I'm going to click on our drop down and we're going to go to security. Within security, on the right hand side is teams. So we're going to click on teams and once everything loads, we're going to click on new. So now we're creating a brand new team. We want to give our team a name. So we're going to go to name it sales team. This is where we set the business unit. Some companies have multiple business units. You want to make sure that you set the business unit to match the different types of records that those individuals are going to have access to. Because as I mentioned before, the team and the individuals will have the same access as long as the record is in the same business unit. So we'll go ahead and set that. And some companies only have one business unit, like mine. We only have the LVP webinar business unit. The administrator, that's the person that's administrating the team, adding members, removing members, keeping the information up to date. So we're going to add myself as the administrator and our team type. Remember we talked about this earlier. An owner team type is granted ownership rights and has a security role. Where access doesn't need a security role, but they're never going to own a record. They're just going to have access. So for our scenario today, our team type is going to be owner. Now we're going to click save. And remember that you have to click save before you can add team members. So many people go into this to create a team without saving and not be able to add team members. Once we hit save here, our little plus sign showed up right here. So to add members, we just click on the plus sign, and then we just start adding our team by typing in their information. 
And now you can see here, it'll give their full name and their business unit. And then we'll click Save. Once we have all the team members set, we want to go to Manage Roles. So now we're giving the security role to the team and thus the individual users, again, as long as the record that they own is in the same business unit. So we're going to go ahead and give everyone Sales Manager access. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Now our team is set. We've given an administrator. The team type is owner, added our members, and we've given them a security role. Then simply in that same area where you click assign to assign to a new user, you can just assign it to a team. Just change your drop down from user to team, search for your team, and now your users have access that are in that team. That's all for our topic today on how to create a team. Are you ready to learn more? Additional tips, resources, and information can be found at LegendViewPartners.com. As always, contact us here at Legendview Partners at the email and phone, phone number listed on your screen. We would be happy to help. My name is Michael Dodds. I'm a CRM support consultant here at Legendview Partners. I hope you have a wonderful day.